Okay, so I've done a few streams with the software, but I figured it'd be nice to show how it actually works. So here we are. Right. Now I had to build all of this up because it originally didn't have this system of skinning or anything else. Originally it was just a personal little program. Set the controller. Now we're actually showing input. It was originally just a personal program. It was like somewhat hard coded to my controller and stuff like that. So I had to do a little bit of work to get it all working. Hey, look at that. We've got a uh, background color selection for chroma key, as you can see. Uh, whichever color you want to set. I actually ran into an issue with the fact that this A button here is green. So what I did in my stream overlay was I included this twice and the I trimmed or cropped one down to just the face buttons. And I, uh, for the cropped one, I had chroma key off. And then for the larger one that was behind it, I had chroma key still on. Uh, so yeah, we have this set up and working. Now in here, we have themes. And from our themes, we can see, there they are. Yeah, they're editable pretty easily. Width and height of the window, child objects of the window, it, uh, an image with a certain coordinate. See how this is. And all of this is controlling what you see on the right. Um, admittedly, the gyro logic is a little hard coded here on this basic 3D thing. This is a really poor 3D implementation using very basic 2D distortion. I can't even do trapezoid the way I did it, but it works. But the big thing about this is that anyone can add more themes to this. You just have to put a folder, put your images in the folder, and inside that folder put your theme JSON files, and then it will show up in your list right here of themes. Oh, that's too far over. Also controlling my desktop right now with the controller, which is quite nice. Oh, and uh, also, by the way, it's released, or at least beta 0.2.0.3 is released. Uh, here's the zip file right here. I'll uh, have a link in the description if you can't read that URL, and I'll probably put a card right here too if YouTube will let me, because the video is probably not long enough to use half the YouTube features. But there you go. Uh, do be aware that the error handling is pretty non-existent. So if something goes horribly wrong talking to the Steam controller through HID, or if the uh, file you attempt to load here is not written properly, or if an image that the file references doesn't exist, uh, it'll probably just crash. Uh, pretty hard, actually. I also went through the trouble of making sure that I had the license for itself, MIT, the license for the library it's using, and the license for the JSON parser all in here, just to be safe. So there we go. Oh, uh, that's that, honestly. As you can see, it's green, so you can use it in your overlays without a problem. And also the uh, trace uh, display has improved, as you can see, as a result of all of the complete rewrite of the graphic rendering, which is why there haven't been any streams either. Well, that and other obligations. Still works the same way. Right grip control. Uh, let's see. Left and right bumper. Triggers. Yep. Interestingly, the triggers seem to recalibrate when you actually use them. Because if you hit them lightly, it says 100%, and then when you click them in all the way, then 100% drops down to that, unless you're clicking. So that's interesting. Face buttons. Got the uh, 
indicator for clicking that, which of course opened the keyboard. Uh, indicator for these. Now ah, my Steam's open because of course it is. These, that. Uh, you've got everything. So that's that. Uh, this will be available, as, as noted, this is available on the page I've linked. Oh, if you'd like to contribute any themes that you've created, you can go to the repository if any of you know how to use uh, source code repositories on GitHub. You can come to the repository and you can safely uh, branch the code. You can add your own theme to the branch and then you can do a merge request uh, or pull request right here. You can use this and that should let you uh, request, uh, I thought it was a merge request or whatever. You can request that I pull your code and merge it into this version. Also, I believe there's issue tracking here. Yes, there is. There are going to be issues. So I think you can put issues here. Like I said, there's absolutely no error handling whatsoever. Although I think the earliest issues we're probably going to deal with are going to be hard stop ones and not invalid theme file ones. Because if your theme's invalid, it's, it's not going to work, obviously. I could probably write a function to detect that and to just spit it out and say error loading theme, but eh. We're in beta. We're practically in alpha, honestly. Now, there is the one point about there being a slight delay on the uh, display. I still haven't figured that out. It should be fine for streaming. Honestly. So... If anyone has any ideas on that, let me know. It's probably the hid library I'm using, although it could also be my method of uh, polling. But, uh, there you go. Code is uh, functional, and release is also functional. That's what you wanted. You got to move, to move, take me away, take me away. You got to move